Do you believe for something bigger than your current circumstances? Are you in a place where you know that what you see around you can't be your final outcome? Hey guys, welcome to Maximize Your Monday. I am your vision coach, Latoya Early, and I want to set your week in this training on today. I want to help you really shift your thinking. I want to help you shift your mindset. And I want to help you believe that what you see isn't always what you get. Here's my question for you today. Are your circumstances looking one way, but you desire for things to be a different way? Um, are your circumstances making you believe that you are maybe stuck in a particular situation? Maybe your circumstances are making you uncomfortable. Maybe your circumstances are currently challenging you. Maybe your circumstances are making you believe that there is no possible way that your future or your outcome can be any different than what you currently see. I want to share with you today that what you see isn't always what you get. Let's go to scripture. Um, Hebrews 11 and 1 talks about faith and how now faith, now faith, right? And so I want you guys to just take a moment to consider just that one word right before scripture. It says now faith. Well, what does that mean? It means in this present moment. It means today. It means in this moment, in this time that your faith is what matters. It says now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. What does that mean? Your faith is your standard. Your faith is what you stand on. Your circumstances may look one way, but what you believe is what really can shape the outcome of your reality. Today, I challenge you to choose to see something different than what you can naturally see. You may only can see the, the limited uh, the limited opportunities. You may only be able to see um, the, the bad things that's in your circumstances. You may only be able to see the things that are going against you. But I want to take a moment and just encourage you to change what you see. Change what you see in your mindset so that you can change what you see in your reality. Listen, I know that this isn't the easiest thing to do, right? This isn't an easy concept. When you are conditioned to your environment, when you are conditioned to what is around you, it can be challenging for you to, um, to put on blinders and really ignore the noise that's around you and get focused in what you truly see in your thoughts and your mind. Understand that your mindset was given to you by God as a, as a form of faith, as a form of imagination. What is it that you're imagining about your today? What is it that you're imagining about your tomorrow? Are you allowing your current circumstances to dictate your outcome? Are you allowing your inability to see bigger stop you from doing what's required of you today so that bigger can become a possibility? Here's the thing. We can we are the reason we're we're the reason our outcome isn't as grand or isn't as big as we truly desire to desire it to be. Why? Because our thoughts is what limits the possibility. Understand that the Bible says that God already planned out our destiny far before we were born. He already knew what we were capable of. He already knew what he wanted us to do on here on, or on earth. He already knew how he wanted us to serve people. The question is, do you believe enough in what God created you to become to avoid the distractions that are around you to stay focused? Right. Just recently, we've been put in a very uncomfortable position. And in this position, I struggle in my mindset. I struggled in my thoughts because I was in a place where, Lord, how is this going to happen for us? How how are you going to make this thing um, a reality for us? And he brought me back to scripture. He said, now, faith. Latoya, what faith are you standing on? 
What ground are you believing in? How are you going to anchor yourself in what my word has already told you far before this very moment? And in that moment, it, it really challenged me because what I see around me doesn't reflect what I know he showed me. And he reminded me that, listen, I called you to be a vision coach because I've given you the ability to see bigger, to see greater, even when the circumstances around you don't reflect it. So don't just use the gift for other people. Don't just use the gift to serve other people. Use the gift for self. And as I went through my workout today and as I started my Monday, I really began to talk to myself and really tell myself, Latoya, what you see isn't always what you get. How do you change what you see? How do you change? How are you? How do you shape? your tomorrow so that it reflects the desires of your heart. Because here's the thing, while we aren't capable of manifesting anything, the Bible does tell us that if we delight ourselves in him, if we delight ourselves in the word of God, if we surrender ourselves to his assignment, it's, it's so funny how people around us will surrender to struggle, right? You will come in agreement with your circumstances and with the struggle mindset and with the possibility you'll, you will commit or you will accept the possibility that things won't get better. But when you trust in what the word of God says for us, when you trust that Jesus died on the cross so that we may live and live life more abundantly, when you trust that he's given us the power to gain wealth, when you trust that he's made you the head and not the tail, when, he, when you trust that he's put you, placed you above and not beneath, when you have faith in what the word says about who you are and what you're capable of here on earth, even though your circumstances around you may look a certain way, when you trust the word of God, it just, it rebalances you, right? Because here's the thing, the enemy is going to do whatever he possibly can to distract you, to make you feel like what you see in your mind, what you see in your imagination is impossible. But understand that God gave us our imagination. He gave us that as a cinema. He gave you that opportunity to sit back and watch the possibilities of your life. And if you allow the circumstances that you're currently in to determine your outcome, if you don't um, intentionally apply effort. The Bible says that faith without work is dead. So we know that faith is the substance where we stand. It's our core. It's our ground. It's our root. I'm grounded by faith. I'm grounded in knowing that while I can't naturally see it, that it's already, it's already done physically, uh, spiritually. While it may not have come into the realization of my physical world just yet, I know that according to the word of God, that my steps are already ordered. So that means that it's already done in the spiritual. And so now it's up to me to believe that what's done in the spiritual will become the reality. So now I'm encouraging you to do the same thing, that while what you may see around you in this very moment, it may not align with what you've envisioned or what God has, has placed in your thinking, right? The Bible tells us that um, the Bible tells us to be fruitful and to multiply so that we may subdue the land and have dominion, right? This is scripture for us. And sometimes we'll get consumed by what the world is telling us or what the people around us are telling us or what our experiences are telling us that we omit what the word of God already established for us far before we were even born. So here's the thing. What you see isn't always what you get. Now, here are some exercises that we both can do together, right? Because as your coach, not only am I exercising these daily principles into my life, but I'm encouraging you to do the same. Because while I 
while my day to day includes serving and coaching and training coaches and leaders, I too have to sit down and realign my thoughts. I too have to sit down and realign my words. I too have to sit down and revisit what I believe because the Bible tells us to be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our thinking. And if we don't renew our minds daily, then we'll allow the world to conform us and make us believe that what we've been envisioning for ourselves, whether it's been in corporate, whether or not it's been in your business, whether or not it's been in your family, whether or not it's been in your relationships, wherever it could possibly be, the enemy is going to use those uh, determining factors to distract you from the vision that God has shown you. Go back to what he has already shown you. What did he show you about your business? What did he show you about your profession? What did he show you about your marriage? What did he show you about your life? What has he shown you? Something that um, that stood out. I was having a conversation with um, a client and something stood out to me. As the client was talking, we were talking about um, staying grounded in the environment that they're in, um, regardless of the uh, regardless of the environment. Right. So staying grounded in the environment, regardless of the environment and something that this person um, something that, that stood out as we were talking, this person said, you know what, I believe that. The reason why it has been difficult for me to stay grounded is because I am not certain of my purpose in this role, in this position. I was working with an executive leader and that moment was an eye opening for me in that in our session, because what it allowed me to do is it allowed me to help my client really take a moment and step back and identify purpose in their current role or profession so that as they go through the day, they're staying grounded regardless of the environment. And in order to do that, you have to be able to see bigger. You have to be able to see greater. You have to be willing to adjust in um, environments of discomfort. You have to be willing to communicate. You have to be willing to step outside of the status quo or what's normal in that environment and be okay with standing out and being different. I'm saying this to say that sometimes our environment will make us believe that this is it. Sometimes our environment will make us believe that it's not going to get any better. Sometimes our environment will make us believe that this is the the end of the road. But I want to encourage you on today and let you know that it's not the end of the road, that as long as you believe in what God has shown you, that it shall come to pass. Now, you're struggling with, well, what has God shown me? Well, I encourage you to go into prayer. I encourage you to develop a relationship with Christ so that you know, okay, Lord, what is my assignment? I need for you to show me so that I know where I'm going, even in the moments where things don't look good for me, even in the moments where my circumstances does not align with what I envision for myself, even when my circumstances challenge me emotionally, they challenge me spiritually and they challenge me physically. Know that because you've already shown me who I am and where I'm going, I'm going to believe that that is going to come to pass. What you see isn't always what you get. Learn how to change what you see so that what you see becomes your reality. How do you change what you see by changing your words? What do you believe about yourself? What do you believe about your outcome? What do you believe about your future? What do you believe about your business? What do you believe about your, your professional career? What do you believe about your relationship? Understand if you set the standard, the Bible says, Faith is the substance, right? The substance. It is the is the 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 standard, right? Faith is the standard. So my question for you is: What standard have you set in your life and in your business that, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of what's happening behind you, you're going to believe 
by any means necessary. You have everything that you need to become the exact thing that you desire to become. If the, we understand that there's a bridge between where you are and where you desire to go, understand that on that bridge, you will face obstacles. You will have limited sight. You will face um, uncomfortable situations. You will have to have uncomfortable conversations. But that bridge is to get you from where you are to where you truly desire to be. Don't focus on what you naturally see. Don't focus on the circumstances that you're currently in. Don't focus on what it looks like now because the God that we serve can do all things but fail. And what I do know is that while it may seem impossible in this moment, there's nothing impossible for God. And as long as we together continue to work as long as we together continue to stand on the word of God and trust what he has said to us trust what he has shown us then I guarantee because of his word and his word shall not um, return unto him void that we shall reap in in due season that we shall reap the harvest in due season I understand that there are four different seasons there's a season of identity a season of impact improvement and increase Identify which season are you in? Are you in the season of identity where you're learning, understanding, discovering? Are you in the season of impact where you're serving, where you're applying? Are you in the season of improvement where you're working on self? or maybe even increase where you are reaping from the seeds that you've already sown. This is your moment to identify the season so that you can see something differently in harvest, so that you can see something differently and not allow your circumstances to keep you bound and stuck. Listen, I want your week to be amazing. Make sure you do what's required of you so that not only are you being fruitful, but you are multiplying. Not only are you... Um, Walking by faith and not by sight, right? But you are allowing faith to be your standard. What is your standard? Hebrews um, Hebrews 11 and 1 says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. And it's the evidence of things not seen. It is our job to walk by faith and not by sight. What has God shown you in his word? What has God shown you in your imagination? What has God, what, what have you journaled about? What have you written out in words saying that this is who I will become? This is, this is the outcome of my life. This is the success that I yearn for. This is the, the level of achievement that I want to have. This is the legacy that I'm leaving for my children. This is, this is the woman that I will be today. This is the man that I will be today. This is the mother that I will be today. This is the corporate leader that I will be today. This is the business owner that I will be today. I encourage you to confess, speak with your mouth, believe with your heart, understand that Every word that comes out of your mouth is a seed and every seed shall reap what um, shall reap a harvest. What I encourage you today, what you see isn't always what you get. Let's change what we see so that I can re so that our reality so that we can shape our reality and change what we receive. Your circumstances may look one way. But how you apply yourself to that circumstance, how you apply yourself to those challenges, how you apply yourself, how you look at the situation that you're in. I want you to sit down today and I want you to think about how whether the situation is good or bad, what can how can I win? in this season? How can I win in this circumstance? What could I be doing in my waiting season? Because a lot of us are in that season of improvement where we're working on self, we're working on our mindset, we're working on our posture, we're working on the things that we need to work on internally so that we can be everything that God needs us to be externally. Listen, you've got this. We've got this. The Bible says we're too shall ask anything in our father's name here on earth that it shall be done know that i am your too listen have a fantastic monday i pray that this quick mindset training shift you today i hope that now you're seeing your circumstances differently i hope that you are now looking at the challenges that you may be facing as an obstacle to get you closer 
to the goal, not further away. Understand that our obstacles are designed to build us, develop us, and make us greater. And even myself in this season, as I pour into you, it's pouring back into me. That my circumstances may look one way, but I trust God. And I know that if he did it before, he'll do it again. Listen, guys, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you guys in our next video. Be blessed.